And we are back. It is time to do the week three preview in the NFL after an absolutely wacky upside down week two. Al, how are you? Excellent, man. Excellent. Hoping to get a little redemption uh, on week three from my poor uh, week two performance. But boy, what a fun league. It always keeps you on your toes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's start it right off. These these podcasts, the, the preview podcasts go much quicker than the review po- podcasts. I think that we could safely say that. The, the review podcasts are a good hour. Uh, the previews are like more like 40 minutes. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Especially oh, we'll uh, we're, when we have an exciting week like uh, this past week, it's gonna, we're going to run a, an hour on those reviews, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes, a lot to talk about. Okay, so let's get to this. Thursday night, New England at the Jets. Now, the Jets... We mentioned in the review about Mosley and Riddick, the situation there, Johnson being out for the year. Uh, Riddick, he's got a sign, but I can't pick New England to win this game against the Jets on the road, even with their their, uh, injury situations and the contract situation and all that stuff. They're just, they're still a better team. And, um, I'm going to predict for the Jets to win 23, actually 23 to 10. I think their defense um, reminds everybody that they're still pretty a good unit, even though they've been getting uh, highly criticized over here for the defensive effort. Right on, right on. Yeah, no, they're a, uh, they're, this is an interesting game. The Pats are way better than I thought. I tried to find a reason to pick them in this game. I just couldn't do it at, uh, in New York. Um, and I think the Jets are starting to come together. I can't. I'm, I'm curious just how good they are. I'm not sure they're as good as I thought coming into this season, but because uh, they're certainly not yet. But I think they can get there, and I'm curious to see if they if they will. So yes. I'm going Jets twenty to sixteen, and that close score is the respect to the way the Pats defense is playing so far this year. Right. I mean, twenty points, twenty three points. That's not a, that's not getting dominated. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Actually. I took the reins there, but this is your gig in terms of uh, hosting hosting duty. So if you want to go to the next game, go right ahead. Oh, I didn't even think about it, my man. You got yeah, it. Me All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So that's we'll go to the Sunday at one o'clock games and start with a real ugly one: Giants at Browns. Yes, uh, <laughs> very similar to the Jets' defense. Reminding everybody, I think Cleveland coming off a good defensive effort are going to really assert their defensive dominance on this one. Um, the Giants, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know what to think of the Giants. Dan, Danny Jones played better, but, you know, he, he's not. He's still one of the worst quarterbacks in the league. And I think that defense is going to drive him crazy, and I've got 20-3. to three. Right the on. Browns. Right on. I like that. I like that. All right. Um, and sorry if I seem slightly distracted when you said that score. I just want to tell our uh, listeners the news just came out that Tua is officially going on the IR, which is not okay. surprising, but it's official now. Okay. Very good. All right. So, yeah, I, I'm with you, but I'm giving uh, I, the uh, the Giants – I'm making it a little closer game, although I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not sure why, um, but uh, I'm going Browns 16, 13. Um, I don't like anything I've seen from the Browns this year, but I like the Giants even less. Right, 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 right. I think the Browns are not nearly as good as we think, but they're still not. They're at home and they're not going to lose. The, I don't think they're going to lose to the Giants. You can't pick them. I agree. And they do at least have a, a good defense. I don't know if they're great, great, great. Like I maybe thought coming in, but they at least are very good, which is something they can hang their hat on. Yep. All right. Whew, I don't even know if I want to do this next game after our last discussion on the last pod. Eagles at Saints. Whoo, boy, on the road. Well, this this will test the Saints if they're legitimate or not. No doubt. No this doubt. Will t- test them. But um, it's hard to not think they are, though. I mean, everything you see from them looks absolutely phenomenal. They look incredible. They- they look absolutely incredible. The surprise of the league so far. Absolutely. And they're at home here in the Eagles. I, I have been saying I have questions, and I think New Orleans is going to pull this off. 
I got 30 to 27 Saints. Okay, okay. Well, this is just like my brain it hurts because <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. This is not an easy game to pick. With I was ready to make my pick last night with about a minute and thirty seven left. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, if they play, if they win that game last night, I probably. I don't know. I probably still wouldn't. I don't know if I went with the Saints or not, but I don't know. I, I got I got the, the Saints. For this. It would have been a tougher call. Now I'm definitely going with the Saints like you did. I'm going – I'm making it close because I think the Eagles are a good team. And they, right. Oh, and, yeah. Mine's 30 to 27, so I'm right there with you. Yeah, mine's very close to yours, 28 to 26. So you're going against the Eagles. Going against the Eagles, man. I don't like to do it, but, hey, listen, this, <laughs> the Saints – just look amazing so far. I mean, amazing. You can't beat the Cowboys, who I think are a good team, by 30 points or whatever it was, and not get a whole lot of respect from me. And the Eagles didn't look good enough against the Falcons to uh, to let me pick them against a good team on the road. Right. That's another thing, too, on the road, too. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm good with that game if you are. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. A couple really good games this week. Really interesting games. That was one of them. Uh, another one coming up here. Texans at Vikings. Yeah, man. Two two teams, 2-0. Two oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. The Vikings, the least likely 2-0 oh team ever, especially with the Niners in one of those two games. I mean, let's, let's not forget, we actually picked the Giants to beat them week one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I did it. <laughs> I, you know, I it wasn't that hard a pick for me, honestly. And obviously, it was wrong. But I didn't think about it all that much, you know, because oh. I thought they were in a, in a, one of the bottom, you know, ten teams in the league this year at least. But no dice. <laughs> this, this is one of the teams I say uh, I don't change my my uh, outlook for that team over the you know, based on two games. Um, I still don't think Minnesota is a very good team, and uh, I need to see more to uh, get on the bandwagon for them. I have Houston winning thirty-four to twenty-one. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, I want to say what you just said about the Vikings, but man, the one of those wins was the damn Niners. So I'm giving right. them a, maybe a little more credit, but not a ton. I'm still not sure they're a playoff team or anything. You know what I mean? But right. um, but I don't remember how many wins I picked them for, but I would probably add at least two or three now. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. But all that being said, I love the Texans. Me too. That's, 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 that, this is less on Minnesota than it is uh, on Houston. For me. Yeah, right it's there about with Houston. You. I Right there with you, 100%. Um, so, yeah, I'm going Texans a little closer, 24-21, giving a little bit of the, the road thing, making it a little closer. 24, 21. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I will, we'll see if Minnesota pulls this one off, then, then I might have to, then it'll be, be time to reassess for sure. Yeah. Then we can't deny it. If they beat two really good teams in a row, I'm with you. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Now <laughs> Broncos at Buck. This is an easy pick, right? This has got to be the Bucks thirty. I have Bucks thirty-one to seventeen. Uh, you know Baker. They're just playing really, really well. Denver is kind of just a mess in very early stages of trying to figure this out on the road. I can't see Tampa Bay losing this game. They've looked so good the first two weeks. Denver has not. It's got to be Bucks, and I have a pretty big thirty-one to seventeen. Okay, okay. I'm with you on all that. Bucks look great. Broncos look awful. Um, the uh, the uh, Like I, I said, uh, going into week one, sometimes the preseason is fool's gold, and it certainly was in Bo Pick's case. Um, and yeah. we'll, we'll give him time here. It's early. But early return's not good, and I, there's no way I can pick them on the road. Nothing about the Broncos looks good this year. Nothing. So I am going Bucks huge, 34-9. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they look, they look too good. Okay. Yeah, they're not, not a whole lot to add there. I mean, they're just a far superior team with a much better playing quarterback right now. Perfect. Perfect assessment. All right. Now, here's a really interesting one. And from everything I've seen, and tell me if, you, if you've seen the same, it looks like Jordan Love is going to miss another week. Yes, yes. Okay. I haven't seen anything definitive, but that's 
certainly seems to be what's in the tea leaves, right? Yes. All right. So, with that in mind, the Malik Willis-led Packers at the Titans. Revenge game for Willis. Mm. <laughs> it could Didn't be, even but, think about that. That's funny. Yes. But, as I said last week, Green Bay, I think, kind of rallied around the the doomsayers and everybody's saying that they're screwed now, that love is, isn't playing, and they're going to... Uh, go on a losing streak, this and that, and I think they kind of rallied around that and really got up for that, and I think it's hard to sustain that for a second week in a row on the road. I actually have Tennessee pulling this one off 24-20. to Tennessee is not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. That defense is good, and their offensive line is much better than it's been. Yeah, no, that's a fair point, absolutely. Um yeah, I agree with a lot of what you uh, you said, but I'm going the other way. I'm going Packers, close one. Oh, geez, sorry, I just dropped the phone. Hopefully that wasn't too loud on everybody's ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have it close to 24-20 is my score. Oh, interesting, because I'm going to go um, Packers 17-10. to 10. All right, yes. That's so a tough one. That, 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 that was one of the hardest ones to pick, for sure. You got a lot of trust in that Green Bay defense, right? I do, I do. And I just, I agree with everything you said about the line. I like, Tony Power didn't have a great game this week. Their run game didn't have a great week. But I still like Tony Power a lot and the the idea that they will develop um, more. But, um, but still what I don't like about the Titans is Will Levis and the way he's playing right now. So, yep. I, the fact that I'm I'm liking Malik Willis more than, than Will Levis right now is crazy to me, but it's a it, it's the truth. So I'm going with it. Okay, yeah, all right. So our first, uh, that's the first one that we were we're different on. Yep. Okay. That's the first one. All right. Well, that's good. It, it took us uh, like 13 games last week to get to one, so that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, another interesting one here: um, Bears at Colts. Yes. Um, <laughs> talk about two teams just in the muck. I mean, the Colts, the Bears, these are the, these are the games that anybody can win. These are the games that you're not going to be surprised on either team winning at all. Right. But I'm going to go with the better quarterback at, well, he's not great, but he's better than what Chicago's doing right now, where mm-hmm. William, Williams is. So based on that, based on the fact that they're home, I'm going Colts 26 to 20. I don't love it, um, but I do think I still believe in Anthony Richardson. I just do, and I think he's even now still a little better than than what Williams is right now. Right on, right on. Maybe right. not, maybe not in three or four more weeks, but right now I still would pick Richardson over him if I had to. I agree. Uh, neither one of them are playing well, but I'll tell you what Richardson has that Williams doesn't yet is the ability to make a monster play Um, because the shackles are still really on Williams. You know what I mean? They haven't really unleashed his, yeah, they've thrown a couple deep balls here and there, but Richardson is uncorking bombs left and right and has the ability to land them here and there. So I'm with you. Um, Now I listen, the bears defense is, is no joke. So I am actually, going to lower my score total here real quick. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it, I had it Colts 23-13, but I'm going to make it Colts 17-13. to Okay. My, my, I had the Colts 26-20. to Okay, right on, right on. All right. Now, here's a fun one this week. This is a fun one. And it's, it's going to look like... Uh, Sammy Ball is lining up against us, you know, <laughs> Red Grange here because we got Jim Harbaugh's Chargers coming to the Arthur Smith offensive-led Steelers um, in Pittsburgh. What do you think of this one? Uh, well, I mean, Pittsburgh is changing my mind. That defense is way better than I gave it credit for. I've been predicting their demise for two years in a row. I ate crow last year. I'm going to eat it again this year. I think most definitely they look good. Not great, but good. Um, Fields is looking better and better as they go. And they're at home. And I think this is going to be an ugly fest. (laughs) (laughs) 16-13. Love it. Pittsburgh. Love it. Okay. Okay. 
while we are of the same mind, this is uh, two teams that want to run the ball 35 times if they're given the opportunity. Um, and I have an, another ugly fest. I'm not sure how they get there. If it's all field goals, it very well could be. 18 yep. to 15 Steelers. Yeah. I mean, we, we both have got three point wins. Yep. yep. Give them the Chargers some credit. And neither of them are score. And no, neither of us have anybody scoring more than over 20 points. <laughs> No problem, man. Okay, it's resuming. I'm hoping that. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that little technical thing. I got a call and I had to swipe it away, and then the the feed restarted. Our our conversation restarted. I'm at 15 seconds right now. Hopefully, oh, yeah. we didn't lose anything. But let's just continue on and assume we didn't. Right on. We'll keep trucking. We'll keep trucking. All right. So, well, this game is completely different. This next one is a completely different spin that I have on it after this past week's uh, events, and that is the Dolphins at the Seahawks. Dolphins, Seahawks. Okay. Um, real quick, I just want to mention about the the, uh, the Pittsburgh game. I don't know when the when it cut out because it definitely disconnected for a second because I got the five second countdown again. So just going over, you had 18-15 for Pittsburgh. I had 16-13 for Pittsburgh. Yeah, correct. The game. Okay. On, it. On to Seattle in Miami. Well, I mean, it's not even Skylar Thompson, right? Who did they, Didn't they just sign somebody and he's going to start? Oh, I just assume because they signed Tyler or uh, T- T- Huntley from the Ravens. That's who started. They named him the starter? I think so. If you want to look it up, go ahead. Yeah. But me... I think he's starting. That's crazy. Then why do I mean, you have I, Skylar Thompson on the team if that's the case? There's no reason to. I agree. Uh, back, uh, this says backup quarterback Skylar Thompson is in line to start week three, but that is from – let me see how long ago that was. Okay, no, CBS Sports, Skylar Thompson from two hours ago, Skylar Thompson starting week three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was Huntley. I thought I read, read somewhere that it was going to be Huntley, but it probably will be in a couple weeks anyway. I, I mean, I don't know anything about Skylar Thompson, so unless he comes out of he, nowhere. He, and... he didn't look good last year. He played a couple games last year. Didn't I just he? don't. Year before? I never got to watch him play. So I remember some stats, but I don't remember, you know, without yeah. seeing him, I don't have a good opinion. So, uh, yeah, and and I like Huntley. He's played well for the Ravens in the past, so I think you're probably right unless Thompson does something unexpected here. Yep. So having said that, Seattle again. Solid as a rock kind of a team, and I'm got I've got them going three and zero. Hard to pick Miami right now, especially going across the country on the road. I mean, everything is working against them right now. I can't see a scenario where they where Seattle doesn't get this uh, get this done. So I got twenty six to twelve. Beautiful, right on. Okay, yep. Um, Dolphins. I mean, their entire season changed the second Tua got that concussion. Um, oh yeah. And so they are arrow pointing down and hard and Seahawks have been super solid and at home, easy pick Seahawks 24 to 16. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, if Miami pulls this off, I'll be shocked. This will be the biggest, the biggest shock of any game uh, that I can see really that I can think of that I'm looking at now the list. Yeah. If, if Miami pulls it off, I'd be really, really surprised. Right there with you. Right there with you. Be the most Absolutely. shocking one. Anyway. Absolutely. All right. Oh, and by the way, that was the first of the 4 o'clock games, if anybody cares about that. And then the um, next one, Panthers at Raiders. The the Red Rocket era begins. <laughs> yes. So I gave them a little bit of credit. I gave them 17 points, which for them is a lot. Yes, but I absolutely. still have, But the Raiders are flying high coming off that win. I've got them winning this 27 to 17 I don't see a scenario where I pick Carolina to win any games this year. They'll probably get one or two uh, somehow, some way. They'll, they'll squeak out a couple. I guess it's a possibility that, that this would be one of them that they could possibly shock and, and, and win the game, but I can't pick it. So 27 to 17. Right on, right on. And I, I echo all that. Um, and the Raiders – you know, showed a lot last week. You know, no matter where what the Ravens are, I don't think anybody thinks they're a bad team. At worst, they're they're a five hundred ish team. At worst, to me, right? 
Um, right. I mean, do you see them being? I don't see them being any worse than five hundred, do you? Uh, I, I, no, I, I think at worst their floor is like nine wins. Nine right and on. Seven, yeah, nine and eight would be where I got them. That's about where I'm thinking. I mean, I, I have the as high, a floor, as a floor, but as yeah, a high, floor, I still I'm with you 100. percent That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, so having said that, that's that's a heck of a road win for the Raiders last week. So I don't see them coming off looking that good and losing to this the worst team in the league, even with the red rocket at the helm, which makes them definitely makes them better right now, but still really bad. Um, so I'm going Raiders 30 to 13. Okay. I got you. All right. Now, next one. This one, boy, I thought this was going to be one of the games of the week uh, until uh, not too long ago. And uh, now it's a little less interesting. 49ers at Rams. Well, I mean, we talked about the Rams uh, injuries and problems in the uh, review show. But we did not, we actually failed to mention the fact that Debo Samuel. Is banged up for San Francisco. Thank you. Um, is multiple he weeks. out? Multiple. I, I don't. Multiple weeks. Yep. Nothing. Oh. No, no definitive timeline yet. He's definitely out this week, and they're saying multiple weeks. Okay. They don't. They they need him. He's a big piece. He's a big piece, obviously. So you're going to go into this this game with no Debo, no McCaffrey, no Cup, and no Nakua. So all the star power is out of this game. Incredible. All the intrigue, all the intrigue is out of this game. Incredible. And I'm just going on the fact that San Francisco has a good defense, and they still are probably a better team than the Rams. Now, for me, they have to they have to prove that I was right early in the year that I was so high on them. Now they got to prove it because I am completely flipping the script on them, and I no longer. Uh, believe in, the, in those Rams, and now the injuries make it even worse. So I'm going to go San Francisco, 28 to 17. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm with you on all that, and I will add to everything you said that the Rams are also missing three fifths of their expected starting offensive line, which Jeez. is hard for any team to overcome. You know, um, so that just makes it even worse. And the the best, the most name weapon left on that team that's not a running match, not Kyron Williams, is Demarcus Robinson. And that's scary. So wow. bad, bad, bad place for the Rams to be. Wow, while the Niners still have George Kittle and Brandon Ayuk and Jordan Mason. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going Niners, and I'm going 27-16. Oh, 27-16. Okay. And I, 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 the Rams might have a hard time getting over 10 points in that game, honestly, but I'm going to stick with my little score. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, my man. Now, next one. This is arguably game of the week coming up next year, and that uh, is Lions at Cardinals. Okay. First and foremost, Arizona is my upset pick. Love it. But I'm going Detroit. Based on the fact that I I see a bounce back, uh, they had weird weird things happen to them last week. Getting in the in the red zone seven times, getting one touchdown, that just statistically that's not going to continue. Uh, so that means they were still playing well on offense. I don't think Arizona can hang with them, and I've got Detroit kind of making a statement against a good team that we are definitely higher on than we were at the beginning of the year. But I'm still going Detroit thirty to fourteen in kind of a bounce back re, kind of a of a statement kind of game right on i can see that for sure um but arizona is my my upset pick yeah that was i wasn't sure if we were going to count that as an upset because i had it on my list but since, and since you and i i do count it as an upset so i'm glad you agreed with me um but i'm gonna pick it i was gonna pick that one i'm gonna pick a different one because you picked that one and i want to have a different one <laughs> yeah okay so I'm going to go back real quick and give you mine because we already talked about it. My second favorite one in that regard is Vikings over Texans. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's that's a good one too. Yeah, that's that one. one. Just uh, what the heck after they just took out the Niners. Might, m- worth a shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So I am going Lions 
I, I, I really think a lot of this Cardinal team all of a sudden, they're playing, they're, and it's funny because they're playing very similar to the way uh, the Lions like to play. They're running the ball a crap ton. Um, they don't have the two-headed beast running attack, but James Connors handled it by himself just fine. Um, and Kyler Murray's back to healthy Kyler Murray. He has real, a real weapon, you know. So I, I like a, a lot of what I'm seeing, but I really like this Lions team, and I think they're going to bounce back. I think Campbell took that so personally, and he is going to do – Everything you can to win this game, Lions 28-24. All right. I like it. I like it. Right on. Now, the next one, another potential game of the week, Ravens at Cowboys. And before we say anything, do you know anything about the status of Zach Martin? I do not. Not yet. I will effort while you talk about the game then. All right. Well, I can't pick them. Um, they looked so putrid. Baltimore needs somehow is 0-2 and actually needs this more than Dallas. And I think Baltimore is going to get the job done 27-21. to And uh, we got the Zach Martin issue. Uh, I think they really missed Jake Ferguson in that game as well, and he's, still, he's going to be out for a while. No doubt. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't see any scenario where they're going to be able to run the ball, really. They're probably not going to be able to run the ball. 27-21, Ravens. Interesting. I was curious where you were going to land on that, and uh, we landed in the same place. And our score is the closest one we had this week. I'm doing 27-23 Ravens. And I'm going in large, in large part just because I think the Ravens are a pretty good team. I'm maybe not as good as I thought coming into the year, but I still think they're a pretty good team, and I just can't see them going 0-3. If they lose this game, they're 0-3, Craig. I, can't, I, I just no. can't fathom that. No. That's part of it too. They're going to be they're they're in desperation mode. They they have to win this game. Yep, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, it. It's a must win, and uh, it's it's crazy that we're to that point with that team already. But here we are, and it's no joke, no joke. So that's that's my bad. I should have. That's my team, and I did not even bother checking on Zach Martin. Um, I checked in nothing. I can't find anything. If it did, uh, if you can find anything, great. But I just there hasn't been any updates since he. You know, it's all. Zach Martin left game with apparent injury. Right, Next right, question. right. So we'll, we'll have to see on that. But at the very least, he's going to be dinged up if he plays. And if he doesn't play, that's a big hit for them. Yeah. It, and I wouldn't change my pick to the boys if he was 100%, I don't think. No, but, uh, no. But it doesn't help them at all since he's one of the best linemen in football. Um, okay. All right. Now we go to Sunday night. And this is this game just got way more interesting uh, I, it would have been a fun game anyway, but just got way more interesting after the Eagles uh, fall. fall uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Collapse last night. Chiefs at Falcons. All right. Well, this is another one of these. I, my my opinion doesn't change mm-hmm. on either team really yet. Atlanta is playing. You know, I'll have to see them continue. Um, cousins look great, but let's, let's continue here. Let's, let's see a few weeks of this before I'm really on board with them. And, uh, they're playing the best team in football, although they're not overly impressive right now. I'm still going to go Kansas city. I can't imagine picking Atlanta in this, even at home. I'm going Kansas city 21 to 13. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. The, uh, you know, the Falcons should have lost that game. They had a heck of a, of a drive at the end, but um, it wasn't like they were awesome. You know what I mean? Um, right. and they, they would have had to have been awesome for me to pick them against the Chiefs. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going Chiefs, and I think it was fairly close to your score, although I already forgot. 23-19, what was yours again? 21-13. Okay, I heard a three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else on that one? No, I'm good. I'm good. I think this is a, a nice, tidy win for Kansas City. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. And very interesting. The one thing I want to keep my eye on this week is how they approach their uh, their backfield with, um, with uh, what's his face, Pacheco, Pacheco out. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, see, see what they do with the backfield, see how they look, see, uh, the, you know, the, the splits and the carries and that, that kind of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, cool. I'm with you 100%. All right. Now, and in a weird thing, I don't know why they oh. – Okay, Al, just so you know, we uh, I got another call and I had to get rid of it. So uh, we got another five-second countdown that we, we already went through. And whatever you were saying 10 seconds ago, can you repeat it? 
You got it. All right, no worries at all. So I don't know why the NFL does this. It's kind of weird to me, but we have two Monday night football games this week. Um, ja- the first of which, Jaguars at Bills. Yep, yep, I know. Um, it's weird. They used to do that on week one, and they didn't do it, and now they do. Doesn't this person know we're trying to do a podcast? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I got another call and I got another five second countdown. What I was saying is, um, hang on. I, I just want to make sure this doesn't happen again. No worries, man. Take your time. If you want to go on the game, go ahead. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. So, all right. This one, listen, the Jags just don't look like anything like I expected them to be at all. I mean, their defense is playing decent, but... Their offense is just a mess, and I don't understand it. I, I don't understand it. Trevor Lawrence, I don't know what's going on. I don't get it at all. Um, and listen, the Bills have looked like one of the best teams in football for two weeks. Who knows where that lands in the end, but they look great so far. I can't do anything but pick the Bills here, 23-9. to nine. Right on, right on. Totally agree with you. Um, Jacksonville does not look right. They don't look good. Um, I, want, I kind of thought they would. But they're, so far, there's given me no reason to pick them in this game. On the road, Buffalo's 2-0. Buffalo actually is looking really good and um, much better than I thought. And, yeah, coming into this year, I might have picked Jacksonville in this game. Yeah. But no way. Right there with you, my man. Right there with no you. Way. I think I like the Bills a little more than you coming into this season, but I didn't like them this much. No, yeah. not even close. So I've got 32, yeah. 32 to 21 Buffalo. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't give your score. My bad. I jumped in there. My bad. Yeah. And what what was your score? Mine was 23 to 9. All right. Okay. One more. And boy, did they uh, leave a weird one to as the last game of the week this week. Commanders at Bengals. This is a weird game. <laughs> it is, right? This is a weird one. This is definitely a weird game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's about time where Cincinnati uh, awakens a little bit, and they got a good team to do it against on the at home. So I think this is, begins their real season. And I got Bengals twenty one actually, but I got it very very close. I got a twenty one twenty. Okay, okay, Squeak, cool. squeaker, squeaker and Cincy. I like it. <laughs> so all right. Yeah, the um, you know I was encouraged by the Bengals playing that that game with the Chiefs this week, close and tight, and all, by you know almost winning. Um, right. So I'm going to go a little bigger on the point on the the spread of points here, but uh, I you know um, who knows because they could lapse back into their early season thing too. Uh, but I like the Bengals here, twenty seven seventeen. All right. Okay, the first place Washington Commanders go down. Okay. Nice. Yeah, first place Washington Commanders. I don't think you're going to hear that for much longer this season. (laughs) I agree. I agree. All right. Well, there you go. That is our preview show. Hopefully, the the call's interrupting. I apologize for that. Um, But other, you know, other than that, I think it went pretty well. And hopefully there's some good insights for people as they get ready for week three. Absolutely, my man. Absolutely. No, so it was a really wild week, week last week, and uh, there's some really cool games on the slate this week. Um, hopefully we can bounce back on our picks. But either way, I love when the NFL is interesting. This is great. It's definitely interesting, but I do think we're going to – we're gonna the league is going to gonna re, re, reset itself. It's going to uh, adjust back, I think. I completely agree. We're going to know a lot more. Another couple, like we said right from the get-go, you know, you start to really know something around, what, week four, week five, somewhere in that range, right? Right, right. Absolutely. You get in that range, and uh, it's no longer just a hot streak, or it's no longer, it's, it's a, it's, it's, you know, it's a trend. It is happening. Absolutely. The stats start settling in. You start knowing who the good defenses are, all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm with you, man. It's going to be fun to watch and see where the dust settles when it's all 
when it's all uh, there. And uh, yeah, it's see if are the Vikings for real? You know, are some of these uh, surprise teams for real? Are some of the teams are the Ravens really that bad? I don't think so. I don't think the Vikings are that good. We'll find out by week five. We'll know. I think. Yeah, absolutely. All righty. So you want to uh, mention the Sunny Brook? Yeah, Sunny Brook, baby, and uh, going there tonight. Leaving here in a minute couple minutes here to go see the secret headliner show, which uh, if you happen to be in the area, uh, you won't hear this until it's too late. So I can tell you. So it's because by tomorrow it won't be a secret. Um, <laughs> and have you ever heard of Chris Stefano by any chance? Yes. He's a, he's a senator, right? Or, uh, oh, no, or... different guy, different guy. This is a, uh, yeah, there is a Stefano that's a senator, but this is a comedian who, um, oh, you... so, no. <laughs> <laughs> awesome he used to have a he had a brief short-lived sitcom where chaz palmentary played his father the guy from bronxdale um oh. and he sells out theaters so like i mean like 3500 5000 seat theaters so we're having oh. him on a tuesday night at sunnybrook and it's going to be fun I, I wouldn't have been able to tell you this if the pod came out before because it's a secret thing but uh <laughs> it's uh, joel does this from time to time he gets a big name and we can't we're not allowed to announce it because of weird particulars i can't get into but it's awesome and fun that's fantastic. That's going to be a great show. And your pod will be returning? Yes. We still know definitive word, but I am anticipating hearing any day now, I hope. <laughs> okay. So maybe so next week, maybe you can give us some more information on, on that and uh, when, when we can expect new episodes. But you still have, what, 86 episodes up? 86 episodes on YouTube under Soul Joel TV. Bring them out. Bring them out. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, Al, we got through another week. We did it. And uh, I'm ready for, I'm already ready for week three. Can't come here fast enough. And um, yeah, this, the Sunday night, the Sunday night games always sneak up on me for some reason. Yeah, isn't that funny? Or, uh, not yeah. the Sunday night, I'm sorry. The, 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 the Thursday. Uh, Thursday. The Thursday yeah. night games always think, because you think, okay, now the, the week is officially done. It's ended last week. You got to wait till next week. But no, it's two days from now, the Jets play. Yeah, I know, man. It's freaking wild. It is that Thursday night. Thing. And think about that from the perspective of a player. That's got to be messed up, dude. It's hard enough to play this game and recover in, from seven to seven, you know, seven days. But, man, they're getting, you know, you play on a Sunday at 4 o'clock, and then you're playing Thursday at 8 o'clock. It's wild. So, yeah, credit to these nuts who have to do what uh, Goodell makes them do so they can have their billion-dollar contracts. <laughs> Absolutely. And he can get $70 million a year. But That's right. <laughs> for being a statue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I love well, it. Thank you for joining me as always. And My man. we'll definitely get back next week. Make sure you guys be on the lookout for uh, the week, week three review next Tuesday or so in that range. And until then, I will see you later.